What up with the world, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna talk about how to write a musician's biography. Stay tuned. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty quick video. I'm gonna basically show you why a biography is important, how it's made, and then give you an example so you can use it in your professional career. So I want you to watch this from start to finish to get every single tidbit that you need to make your biography right. First off, why is it important to have a musician's biography? Well, there's a few reasons for that. So you want your fans to get to know you a little bit better. A biography is the best way to let fans into your world and understand who you are. You want to be able to open up yourself for professional opportunities, so booking shows, booking interviews, and just getting press in general. And the last part is that artists and bands can tell their story a little bit better. When you know about your biography or you write your biography, you're able to share that information with fans and interviewers a little bit better and get ready to tell your story. And now I'm going to jump to the computer to show you how to build an outline for your biography. There's two important points you want to remember. For new musicians, you're telling about the basis of your story. So you're talking about how you got into making music and why it's important to you. For those experienced musicians, you're going to talk about every highlight point in your career. So for the more experienced musicians, your biography is more of a bookend. It starts off with your why and then talks about the highlights and then ends off with what are you doing now? So like I said, let's jump to the computer and try to give you an example of this. All right, so here we are in front of my musician biography template. And this template is available on my website for $1. The link is down in the description if you wanna grab that. At the top of this template, there are some basic rules for writing a biography, but uh, I'm gonna come back to those a little bit later. Let's start off with the outline portion first. So for new musicians, this is pretty simple. You want to Talk about your artist name, wordplay TJ. Let's maybe make that bold so that stands out a little bit better. Um, when and where did the band form? Um, so I, I am from Little Rock, Arkansas, and you always wanna spell stuff out. We'll talk about that later. And I formed in about 2005. Who influenced my work? So that now this is a little bit different from my why. So I was influenced by folks like Jay Z to rap, um, definitely Ludacris, and producers like Pharrell and Timbaland. So how do I make music, right? So um, I make music. I produce. I rap. I sing. So when thinking about how do you make music, right? You want to kind of think about just what you do and what are some of the the qualities of your 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 songs right so i rap i produce rap sing motivating music all right here we go the the other part that i was talking about why do i make music right so i make music for the underdog and i can capitalize this because this is a this is a phrase, this is something for branding. I make music for the underdog, and basically I want people to feel like they're their they're best selves. And what am I currently working on? I am working on, now this is for new musicians, so this is not very relevant to, to my experience position, but I am currently working on my album, Terry. Now that we have the basis for that, let's talk about how it works for experienced musicians. All right, for experienced musicians, we want to kind of build these sections up. And so I'm gonna make some space here. So the first section is in the style of the new artist biography, but it also kind of leaves out what you're currently working on because you're gonna save that to the end. So here we go, I'm gonna make a kind of a sentence in the first section. Wordplay TJ is a hip hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas. Don't feel intimidated. I have some experience with writing and writing in this way. Um, just take your time, uh, maybe say it out loud if you're intimidated by what you want to say. Write what you said out loud and then revise it. Always be revising. 
So Wordplay TJ is a hip hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas, and he makes music for the underdog. I can talk about my influences. I've talked about like all of this other stuff, except for when I started. And I, I didn't really explain my why. Let's explain the why and then talk about the influences a little bit. His music is made to make people feel their best. Very simple sentence. You can have simple sentences to build out your bio. And then the last piece that I want is my influences. His music has been influenced by the likes of Jay-Z, Ludacris, Pharrell, and Timbaland. And I can go into detail about this a little bit more specifically. He learned to rap and write songs by listening to Ludacris, word of mouth album. So albums are normally uh, italicized, so word of mouth. All right, so that's a very simple kind of start to section one. And so for section two, three, and four, you want to highlight important moments in your uh, career. And then you want to describe those events in detail um, and how they contribute to your artist or band's growth. So one of my first, very first important moments is meeting Russell Simmons. So I'm going to talk about that as an experienced artist. So in 2005, Wordplay TJ had the opportunity to meet Russell Simmons and give him his demo. After standing in line all night, his demo was rejected because he didn't have an official copyright. After that was that that rejection happened um i decided that i wanted to learn about the business and then form my company on a map music group that rejection motivated tj and we can like shorten names now tj to form oh to learn about the business and form his label on the map music group. So this is an example of one of those important moments. You want to go on to fill in more important moments about yourself. And then in the last section, you want to talk about what you're currently working on. And I already gave an example of this, so I'm not going to go too deep. All right, so currently Wordplay TJ is working on his ninth independent album called Terry. This album explores his inner mental state and uh, like it's during, you know, a, a rough childhood. So it just gives a little bit more of me and this explains what I'm currently working on at the moment. You can also detail if you have any singles out um, in that section as well. So once you're done with your outline, you want to start writing your biography. And here are some basic rules for writing a biography. And I want to add a few more after I uh, explain them. So number one, uh, it should fit on one page. Paragraphs should be brief and to the point. Um, don't add a bunch of fluff or lie about your experiences. Uh, vary the type of sentences you use. So use some short sentences and long sentences and just kind of mix it up. And don't abbreviate words and numbers or use slang, right? So not everybody understands your lingo. So you want to make things as plain as possible and as spelled out and simplistic as possible. And uh, abbreviations, slang, uh, lingo that people don't necessarily use every day is not helpful in a biography. There's also some things that I noticed while I was writing that um, we should think about. So we definitely want to write in third person. So that's using like the artist's name, looking at, you know, pronouns like he, she, they. So basically third person is just a bird's eye view of the situation. So you're looking on the situation from the outside and describing it, not really describing it from your point of view. The other point is when you're talking about song titles, they're usually in quotes. 
And then album titles, I usually italicized or underlined. So from there, you should be able to understand how to formulate the sentences and then combine these sentences into an accurate bio for yourself. Down below in the template is also a section for you to create a short version and a micro version of your biography. A short version is usually two to three sentences, maybe even five, about 500 words or so that can be put into like a bio section for a website or something of that nature. Um, a micro version is used usually for social media pages where you need like one to two sentences to hook people in and get an understanding of who you are. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Don't forget to purchase my template down in the description for only $1. So be sure to share this with somebody that might get something out of it. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace.